Okay, a few days ago I created this. This is the customization video of my favorite theme on GNOME. And I showed you how to solve some of the problems that existed in the release of Everforest. But I also do have a second favorite, which is the Gruffbox GTK theme. And it pretty much had the same problems until the latest release of Gruffbox. So immediately I downloaded the latest package and tried applying it to my system only to find out the main accent color of Gruffbox had been changed from yellow to that of kind of blue or more like light blue. Now you might have a different preference but I really liked the previous color of Gruffbox. So in this video I'm going to show you two different theme packs that is with the original Gruffbox colors and the modded colors which basically contains the color information of the previous release of Gruffbox. Okay let's begin. Before I continue, GUI theme installers are available for this theme pack. You can download them from the description below and you can completely customize the installation process by automating the entire installation with default settings or manually selecting whatever you would like to install and skipping the rest of them. By the way, you need to have an active Patreon membership in order to download the GUI installer and it's a really great way to support the channel and at the same time support open source development and make awesome some apps like Evolve possible. Alternatively, you can get the config.zip file which gives you lifetime access to the modified configs and you can apply this config.zip file using Evolve version 1.4 and above to change the look and feel of your setup with just one click. Okay, for the first step we need to get Evolve. Now I already have Evolve installed but it's an older version. I need to get the latest version. Now you can get it through Patreon from the links in the description below or you can also use the older version which is available for free which is the version 1.4 and that also works fine uh, except for the fact that you have to manually install all the themes and icons which is fairly simple I guess. Okay let's search for Evolve GTK theme manager and it will link you to my Patreon. Here we have it, the version 1.5 of Evolve. Just click here and it will complete the download. Now I would prefer to move this to a separate directory, especially over here and extract. Just open this in terminal and run install.sh and done. Now if I launch Evolve, you will notice that this is the latest version of Evolve that is installed and it's actually the version 1.4.2. Now many of y'all were complaining in the previous video that the 1.4 version does not have the installation option. Now I thought it would be very easy to install but uh, manually but some of y'all were having problems. Uh, now I just showed you Evolve because I wanted to showcase the feature of my app. I, that is all and if you are interested you can definitely go and support me on Patreon. Now if you don't want to do all those and you just want to install it manually, you can also just search for Grovebox GTK and the link is available over here as you can see and you can definitely download the required stuff right from here and that's all. Now I already have it downloaded, I'm going to show you. Now let me just open Now as you can see, we already have this Gruffbox Dark B downloaded. Now I can install it using this. Now this feature is already available in the 1.4 release, so you can install it from there. As you can see, you get the Gruffbox Dark option. Now if you are too lazy to search for everything, you can also turn on filter mode which will enable and let you see just the available themes. So here we have it and install. Done. Now you can just easily apply it from here directly. Just press the apply button and done. Now I think I made a mistake and installed the older version of Gruffbox and this is what the previous version of Gruffbox used to look like. It's really weird. And uh, even if I open the GTK4 
as you can see it looked weird so clearly we cannot use it it's just the same as the everforest theme like we installed in the previous video like i showed you the same issue is also prevent present here but thankfully that is resolved in the latest release so this is the latest release install and done it will just replace all the files over there so we are just going to uh, switch to a different theme and then again back to Gruffbox Dark. Okay, now we have the correct installation. Now I will also show you how to change the colors over here. So uh, that will also be shown. Now uh, for changing the colors, we have to create a new global theme. For example, the name you can put the Gruffbox Dark mod, uh, whatever you feel like, that is all and just create theme and done now we can switch over to gruffbox dark mod and we can apply the mod over here now let's go to edit option and as you can see this is the color which we need to change now if you just extend this portion a little bit you will get the color sliders in the side and you can change the color to something else for example this yellowish color what we would like to get and apply system now if i launch a gtk3 app for example the deconf editor you will notice that the colors are applied accordingly now i'm not going to do this on entire coloring coloring part over here because it is the same for the other stuff too for example gtk4 you will you will have to do the same way uh, this color you have to change and uh, in gnome shell you have to change this color so it's very evident and simple now i already have the changed colors so i'm going to install it from there the mod name is not here as you can see so it's directly just Grovebox dark so let us see if it replaces the already installed Grovebox theme here we have music and this is Grovebox dark install done now if I apply Grovebox Dark, as you can see, the color is yellow, like we were expecting. So this is how it looks. Now let's go for the icon, okay? Let's install the icons and uh, the icon installation is also simple. I'll just uh, install it from here for the time being. Let's relaunch uh, Evolve so that the theme is applied properly. So let's go to icon and install new icons now let us search for Grovebox and see if it is available now this is exactly the icon pack we need that is a Grovebox plus icon pack now just install wow done it was fast install and done Now we just need to restart the app because the icon page is not updated correctly. And here we have the Grovebox plus dark icons. Now just click on it and the icon will be applied properly. As you can see, it, it is applied. Okay. For the next step, we need to install certain extensions which is also available inside the extension tab. And just click here, here, this button which is available now uh, for evolve version 1.4 you will get the install new button it also does the same job now definitely i will go for arc menu here we have arc menu and install that is all now let's go for app menu is back and for a long time i've not used any docs so i would also install dash to doc now i'm currently in ubuntu so i can also uh, enable the default doc available in ubuntu but uh, I guess that won't be feasible for all other operating systems. So yeah, uh, installing dash to dock is better, I guess. So install. So this tutorial remains open to others too. 
Okay, there we have dash to dock. Now let's open the settings page and put this to the left side. Done. And also let's refresh this page. Lovely. Arc menu. Settings. And let's just show the activities button. Done. Now let's also change this icon. So just search for icon. I guess you will get one over here. Browse and from distros I'm going to select Ubuntu because I'm on Ubuntu. Now you can also select whatever you feel like according to your choice. So this you have the freedom. Okay. That is done. Now let's apply the wallpaper. Now for the wallpaper, I actually went over the pixels, my daily place for getting wallpapers. Now, uh, okay, glad I got this reminder from here that we also need to install the Firefox theme, right? So just head over to extension and themes. I'm going to search for Grovebox and I'm pretty sure there will be one or more results to apply the original Grovebox theme. I think this one looks quite interesting, but I guess this will be better. Add and done. Looks much better. Okay. For the next step, let's open pixels like I was telling you. And I just searched for dull. Simple as that and fetched some wallpapers. One of them is this for the blue version of Grovebox and another one is, well, I'm not getting it here. Yeah, this one. Now, the only change that I did was included a little bit of a dark portion over here in order to enable the con key to be seen clearly, but I don't know if it is useful or not. But anyway, let's open Evolve and apply the wallpaper. Uh, I have the modified version kept inside download, so I'll just see if it is there and apply it. Okay, here is the modified version, so apply. Lovely, the, I, the entire folder is now available as an album, so I can directly apply stuff from here. Okay, done. Now let's launch the con key. Now for the con key, it's only available inside the installer. So I have to use it. I've kept it inside music again. So I'll just launch it from here. So Grovebox GDK. Run.sh. Okay, next, next. Custom, skip 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 okay this is con key one for wallpaper one which is this one so let's apply that and skip all the other parts okay here we have the con key now if i apply a different wallpaper sorry not this one the original version if I apply it and as you can see the text isn't visible that much so I have to apply this one so that the text of the con key becomes visible this will be the final result for the first version now the second version basically has a different wallpaper and a con key and of course the theme is also different so I'll just install the theme not from here I already have it in downloads so Grovebox and install done now i just need to refresh so let's change to mod and again back to grovebox dark p sorry sorry to grovebox dark nice we have the changed colors now so if i just launch the settings page You will notice that the color has changed. Okay, for the next step, I'm just going to apply the wallpaper that I've set for this version. Now, the problem with this wallpaper is, well, the con key becomes kind of invisible or hard to read at least. So, 
a different con key is prepared for this one and also this is not the wallpaper that i'm going to apply i'm going to apply this one which is a bit of cropped version of this wallpaper to leave space for the con key okay now let's launch the installer again which contains the con key oops run.sh now the problem here is well I have to remove a folder from the home directory else it will trigger the uninstall script so I'll just remove uid7 and run.sh accept next next custom and skip all these and let's apply con key 2 for wallpaper 2 skip and done Just make sure to see the log output over here because sometimes it just shows that the installation is done but it's actually doing much of the log output in the background because sometimes the process is not awaited. So make sure to see this and then close the window because if you close it midway then the installation won't be successful. Okay, that's all. And as you can see this is the second version. Now uh, the file manager is not reacting to the change because it was open. If I open the settings page like I showed you earlier, it has this changed colors over here. Looks nice. Okay, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.